PDAC 2023, yeah, last day and almost our last uh, interview. I have here um, Trumbull Fisher, the CEO of Greenshift Commodities. Hey, Trumbull, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. We've had a uh, very successful uh, PDAC conference and uh, I'm excited to chat with you and uh, relay our story to uh, your uh, your viewers. Yeah, great. So. Um, green shift commodities what's the background of this uh, company can you give us an insight yes yeah, so this company was formerly uh, a company known as u308 with primarily a uranium asset in uh, in Colombia that has other battery metal components and uh, what we've decided to do is diversify the company out a little bit and go and acquire uh, lithium assets uh, hard rock lithium assets in uh, Argentina that we are extremely excited about Okay, could you give us an insight in the in the portfolio of your projects? Yeah, so uh, currently what we have is uh, our working capital position is uh, is in a, a decent shape, a uh, combination of cash and liquid shares of other public uh, companies. We have this uh, asset in uh, Colombia that I just mentioned that has been in the portfolio for a very long time. It's 22 million pounds of uranium, so fairly significant wow. at yep. a decent grade with these other battery uh, metal components there. And uh, we're expecting to close imminently um, on uh, a massive land package in Argentina that's uh, hard rock lithium and has uh, several pegmatite showings with uh, lithium uh, lithium in them of an average grade of 2%. Oh. So that's currently what the portfolio is. And uh, we really feel it's valued. The company's valued on, uh, on Berlin and with our working capital and uh, massive upside with the, uh, the lithium assets okay. coming into it. How advanced are these projects or is this flagship project? So the uh, the uranium asset in Colombia is, is more advanced. There's been a significant amount of work done on it. But um, the the hard rock assets in Argentina are, uh, are, are fairly early. There has been work done on them in the 1960s. There was 19 pegmatite showings in uh, trenches. And uh, again, that the average grade was 2%, so fairly significant, something to get excited about. And... Uh, what because there hasn't been done a lot of work in Argentina, immediately we'll be going out and doing sampling, trenching, and uh, and getting further results. Okay, so what are concrete plans and catalysts for this year? Yeah, twenty twenty three is going to be a very busy year for us, which is fantastic. Uh, it makes time fly. But uh, catalysts I foresee going forward are uh, imminently the announcing of a closing of the Argentinian assets, um, announcing that we'll be doing work on the project and uh, what that work will be. I think uh, that our team that is already down there, they're ready to go day one, um, go out and do trenching, sampling, um, and see, getting some samples and uh, releasing that to the market. Uh, and then further stepping out and looking for more pegmatites uh, in the area because the, the land package is 500,000 hectares, which six times the size of Manhattan, fairly, oh, fairly wow. large. Um, the other uh, catalysts that, uh, I could foresee is we are seeing other opportunities in the market because of our team down there that has 150 years of combined experience and uh, our expertise is in lithium. We're seeing opportunities uh, down there that could be further acquisitions. So combined with work with other uh, acquisitions, I think there's some significant catalysts coming. Okay. So much exploration work to do uh, this year means you need money. So what's cash in the bank? Yeah, so we have a few million dollars in the bank right now. And uh, and as I mentioned, our, our working capital position is quite strong at just under $5 million, consisting of the cash of a few million, plus our liquid shares of other uh, public stocks. Um, so our cash position is fine right now. Um, but being an exploration story, uh, there always is need for cash, uh, so I could see, depending on how the results are, etc., um, the interest that the market gives us will determine what we do. Okay. Trumbull, what is your background and which are the most important persons of the management? Well, I, I'm CEO, but I'm by far only one portion of the wheel. There's many important people around this uh, this. Um, company being uh, our board, our other executives, and uh, of course our technical team down in Argentina with 150 years of combined experience. Um, what did lead me to this uh, to this role though is mostly my experience in capital markets. I've been in capital markets for a better part of 17 years, um, co-founding a hedge fund and uh, in helping run that for several years, as well as uh, running sales and trading desks at investment banks. 
where I raised a significant amount of capital for resource companies. So I've both invested and raised money for them. And since leaving that side of the, uh, the business, I've joined many resource companies, whether it's in an executive role, board role, advisor role, um, in helping them uh, move along projects, whether it's gold or uranium, etc. So with the movement into clean energy and with how exciting lithium is these days, um, I was very excited to get involved in Green Shift and uh, and create some shareholder value or further shareholder value. Okay, what would you say makes um, Green Shift commodities um, unique in comparison to your peer group or to uh, to your competitors? It's a great question. So it's I think it's one. It's our diversified portfolio, having this uranium asset with the other battery components there, having the lithium. It is also the uh, team that we have around this. A lot of companies. When they go and acquire an asset in another country, they don't necessarily come with a team as experienced as ours is and ready to work right away. Um, it's also, we have a really a first mover advantage uh, being hard rock lithium in Argentina. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of lithium projects in Argentina are more focused on the brines. brines yeah. And uh, us being hard rock, we've got a first mover advantage. So, Okay, Yeah. good. Sounds great to me, Trumbull. Uh, thank you very much for this insight and your very interesting company and uh, all the best for 2023 for all your plans and drilling and exploration work. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for having me and uh, we look forward to uh, staying in touch. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Trumbull Fisher, the CEO of Greenshift Shift Commodities. Yeah, you heard it. Uh, much news flow to come in 2023. And I would say check out this inter interesting company and there with um, bye bye from Toronto.